New York Port Authority Police Chief William Hall choked back tears. For him, this was no longer just work. On a personal level, because I know that these are all your men and it's, it's a business, but I'm sure that a lot of these guys are your friends. How you holding up? It's not a business now, it's personal now. Sir? It's personal now. We have to get them. Back live, we have had little relief here. Take a look at this. About an hour ago, World Trade Center building number seven collapsed. A 42-story building, weakened by the devastation that had occurred earlier today. No word any casualties in the building. It was the one calamity that was not a surprise. Police had evacuated the area hours ago, fearful building number seven would indeed fall down. This morning when tower, the first tower collapsed, I was standing about three blocks away with CBS News correspondent Mika Brzezinski. As a fireball rolled toward us, Mika grabbed her shoes, I grabbed her hand, and we ran like hell. Thousands did. Dan, except for a few sirens, I have never heard New York City this quiet. Graveyard quiet. Dan. Byron Pitts in lower Manhattan.